Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hearts of Iron 4 Cold War Iron Curtain mod. I'm going to be playing as Vietnam today. We are going to join the Soviet Union in the Warsaw Pact. Join the Soviet bloc of countries. And we are going to start the Cold War. Actually, we're... Yeah, this is the beginning of the Cold War. 1949, just after World War II. So, we're Mongolia, or er, Mongolia, Vietnam. We're gonna become communist. Let's just get some, I get mechanized, I guess. And we have a whopping 20 factories. So let's do infantry equipment and artillery. And we are going to work on close air support. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do some CAS. As Vietnam, my plan is to rule over the Pacific, just like Japan did in World War II before it got absolutely wrecked by the Americans and just the Allies in general. So I'm going to just begin stockpiling um, guns. We have some pretty garbo infantry divisions, but for right now they're going to have to do. Because I'm going to imagine everyone else in the... Um, the, uh, I forget what peninsula this is, but this is a peninsula. Everyone around us are pretty garbo. The only other problem is they are in NATO. So maybe we can get, cause them to have civil wars. That might be able to uh, do it. We might be able to get out. Except for Thailand. Or, yeah, Thailand. CM. They are still fascist. Looks like a very modern picture of the guy, but... These all look like very modern pictures. Well, okay. Yeah, so modern. Heart, basic Hearts of Iron 4 portrait. Um, we're friendly with them because we are also in NATO. Because we're a puppet of France. We're going to change that. We're going to become a communist. I'm all... Oh, Jesus. Frame drop. Um, I am already working on... Uh, my... I'm working towards the internationalism focus so I can start gaining communist support in our political parties here. Once we do that, we can definitely join the Comintern. So there's East Berlin, uh, West Berlin. Europe looks very Russian. Let's just say this. Looks very Russian. Soviet Union holds Vienna. Austria is not a thing. Czechoslovak Slovak Union. They are, uh, I'm imagining, communists. Yep, they are in the Warsaw Pact. Um, just like everyone else here, except for maybe Turkey. Yeah, Turkey's not in it. Uh, Greece is still Greece. Uh, whatever you are, Albania is also communist. And Yugoslavia is communist. For some reason, though, they're not in a faction with the Warsaw Pact. So all these assholes are in the pact, except for Yugoslavia. Yeah, even the even Albania is in there, but Yugoslavia isn't. That's a bit strange. Sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to join the uh, Warsaw Pact. Now the problem is we're playing as Vietnam. I mean, Vietnam is awful. We we fight in jungles. Jungles aren't fun. We can't even do this yet because. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so we have to get political power, which looks like we're making a ton of. We are going to hire a communist revolutionary. I want an uprising, not a coup. If we have a coup, we're probably boned. Because we don't have very... So I'm just not going to go down this tree anymore for a while. Work on industry. If we can get some better industry than our neighbors, we might be able to scare them into joining us. Looks like China and Japan, or China and China are fighting each other. That's no surprise. They hate each other. Um, so now, well, we're just gonna sit here, I guess, until some things happen. Hi, Pakistan. Um, uh, okay. Uh, more political power. So maybe what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm trying to think here. 
Yeah, let's go to limited conscription. Maybe we can start working on building a bit of a military. Let's do that. That's a good idea. I'm gonna build them up in Hanoi, I think. Oh, I can't wait for them Frenchies to get out. It's gonna be wonderful. We don't even have any military units yet, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, we have nothing. Yep, we have nothing. 16 planes somehow. Okay, let's work on uh, civilian factories. And then we can go straight to deciding if we need a navy. Do we even have any naval? No, we don't. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some naval dockyards down here in southern Vietnam. So maybe, just maybe, we can start looking at taking some of these. Like, for example, the Indonesian Republic. They have no men, and they're not in any faction. So if we were to take that from them, I believe, I don't know if it's the same in this mod. Yes, it is. So, yeah, they, they're definitely on our list. If we can take the Indonesian Republic, it'll give us a bit of a... Uh, make us a bit of bit val more valuable to... Um, someone else another faction possibly the Russians uh, so yeah they have some civilian factories don't have much in terms of anything other than resources in civilian factories but I think we should definitely naval invade them that also means we kind of need Navy before we do any of that we don't have any Navy whatsoever as Vietnam we have nothing research some modern weapons uh, we can research that. Modern support weapons. Um, <clears throat> add another civilian factory. Some of our, oh, our first soldier division. Our first military division. It's so exciting. Cool. So what are we missing? Infantry equipment, of course. Like always. Oh, there we go. They're all coming out. Alright, we're going to take back our country. Make Vietnam great again. Just like our president Donald J Trump I actually don't know if that's his middle name but let's pretend it is uh, these guys have anything ooh Cambodia has a bit of stuff but they're owned by France hmm, it's kind of a problem because I don't really want to uh, go to war with France just yet because that means NATO's involved which includes the US Oh, China. China, China, China. Uh, it looks like the communists are going to win. We have... We have South and North Korea here. See, they, ha they have focus trees, but I don't. What the shit? I'm Vietnam! Vietnam's amazing! Not really. Vietnam isn't amazing. Oh, we got our first... How do we not have... What? We have no... Oh, we don't have any naval bases. Fuck me. Alright, so let's put our first naval base up here near Hanoi. We'll put it right there. Let's... Make that priority number one. We have all of our civilian factories. See, I think what we really need right now is just more land. I'm trying to think of a prospective country to invade maybe Burma Burma doesn't have a military either they do have a bit more land than we do they have two two zones with five unlocked each okay so Burma might be a good a good route to go let's get some anti tank and I don't think we really need that right now. We definitely want, uh, I don't know. Oh, should I go for Marines or Mountaineers? I'm going to go Mountaineers. I feel like we're going to run into mountains more than we're going to be invading. And going over jungles and, or not jungles, uh, oh, oh, what's happening? Uh, popularity of communist has gone up 15%. We're going to get a new commander. We're going to actually promote him as well. He's going to be our grand, our five-star general. He's going to make sure Vietnam rises to fame. Hmm. 
See, if I were to go to war with China at the last minute, I might be able to snag some of their land before they capitulate. And if I were to do that, then I... So basically, it all just hinges on if I can actually become communist before... Uh, before they die. And it looks like they're going to die, be, be dying pretty soon here. Let's... Soldiers desert. Cool. More communist support. Let's look at the current wars. Yeah, China is 67% to, towards capitulation. So if we're quick, we might be able to snag up some of China. So I, if I remember right in history, um, Vietnam actually had a lot of uh, border conflict with China because they wanted more land. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a historian in any way. Okay, so we have a... Oh, uh, we need convoys. Convoys is what we need. We need to be able to export and import goods. And as Vietnam, do we actually have anything? Oh, yeah, we have some stuff. We have some oil and not much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, what I'm thinking is we're just going to uh, invade China. This is probably going to end very badly. But if we can take some of China, and I'm not going to go across rivers because these guys are garbage. Yeah, we'll go like that. Uh, see, if I could declare war on them. Oh, yeah. It won't let me. Okay, so I'm probably not going to be able to declare war because I'm still a puppet. Puppets don't get to do anything fun. Alrighty. And uh, more infrastructure. So I'm just working on my industry right now. I haven't even started on my military yet, but we'll get there. So, yeah, I'm just going to put these guys back on garrison just to defend the motherland because they don't have anything better to do. How's our infantry equipment? Uh, 100, 200 days. Start a, Do I want a civil war? No, I don't. I'm going to wait. I do not want a civil war on my hands because then I... As the communist Vietnam, I will be at war with the NATO and France, and I'm gonna lose. I've tested this before, and I tried that, <laughs> and that's what happened. Did not end well for me. On the bright side, I am going to be communist soon. Well, I'm 87% communist. But for some reason... Oh, wait. Maybe when I have my next... why? So I'm Democratic, but I have no elections. That's a bit strange. Oh, there goes China. It's all PRC now. People's Republic of China. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. So as soon as I become communist, I'm definitely going to... Uh, warm up to... PRC, because if I could get the PRC as an ally, the PRC and Russia as an ally, that would be wonderful. Maybe it would be a deterrent towards stopping, um, oh, that is so good. Plus 5% construction speed for military factories, army experience, able, er, nair, eh, Jesus, naval and air experience up, go up 0 0.01 daily, and minus 15% training time. Uh, I'm trying to think. That's a good one. I'm going to take that one. Give us extra experience because I'm actually not. My country isn't at war yet in any sort of combat, and there aren't enough wars going on to uh, really send volunteers anywhere. And I'm a puppet, so I have to get rid of that first. Uh, right. We need a research slot. <clears throat> Research slots are important. And then I'm going to do subs. Because they're somewhat cheap and easy. And I can do a whole load of things. Don't have any of these because I don't have anything really. Which is kind of a bummer. But. Uh, I'm going to do weapons. I guess we'll just finish this out because I have a lot of political power right now. If I could become communist, that would be wonderful. 
gonna upgrade our artillery even more because I feel like artillery is what's gonna set us apart from all these other small Asian countries around us because if I'm correct they probably have a lot of the same units we do because we're all owned by France except for maybe Siam Siam is probably gonna crack some fucking heads if we fight them I don't necessarily want to do that got some more uh, stuff I don't really need tanks but I'll do boats and an extra research slot wonderful do some anti-tanks I don't think our Vietnamese soldiers are ever gonna drive tanks anywhere uh, I don't want to do that let's do secret weapons first so we can get a bonus to things we have another dockyard. Uh, let's do light cruisers so we can mess up bigger ships. We're not going to ever win, but we'll mess them up a little. And I can't really do anything except maybe upgrade the infrastructure. Let's upgrade it all the way because we have nothing our factories are going to be doing right now. Can't do any of that. We'll do some anti air and we'll put some forts in Hanoi. Some forts on the port. Okay, so I have to start a civil war. Oh, there we go. Okay, north versus the south. Do they have any men? Uh, they have up to nine divisions, and we have five of them. So, I'm going to push these guys out. And we're going to put them in a division. So, this is the only way we can apparently really get through a civil war without, uh, or become communists, because we can't apparently have any, um, we, uh, there's no changes of elections. All right, boys. Get down there. Oh, it's paused. Right. So if we get down there. So I'm going to be start becoming friends with all of our, our communist brothers here. And we'll do North Korea as well. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they have too low of an organization and they just started pushing down here. Oh, the attrition is awful in Vietnam. We can start pushing in. Now, I know they have some guys in here, so we're just going to hope we can reduce the organization losses. Oh, I hear combat. Uh, factory bomb vulnerability. Okay, that's all we can do in there. Reduce the research time. Improved artillery guns. Go in. Go. Get in there. We need to take Vietnam. For the north. For the north. I don't have war goals against... Uh, France. I just want to take my fucking country back. Oh, so if we capture this. Oh my god, these guys are so garbage. Look at that. I, I have no I had no organization and I still beat these guys. Oh yeah, they have literally the same divisions as me, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, what else can I do here? We can now change some of our laws here. Uh, let's change this to partial mobilization. And we will do limited exports. And extensive conscription. There we go. So we have a bit more men. Once we get our country back. Okay, I'm going to start doing that one. 
All right, boys, go. Oh, they don't have any organization either, and we're just totally ruining them somehow. We have South Vietnam. How's the war going? They're almost halfway to capitulation. 38%. Go. Get in there. Take it. It's ours. We need to reunite Vietnam. I did not really want to start a... Uh, oh, if we take this... I think this is like the only air base in Vietnam, too. It is. Oh, nope. There's one up here in Hanoi. So if we can take this, we can take. It looks like we're gonna take Vietnam, but my guys have no organization. Let's set it to aggressive. Make them attack on their own. Hopefully they'll do it. He has no organization. We should still take the airfield. We don't have any planes, I don't think. Or do we? Oh wait, we have 60 jet close air support. Cool. Okay, so we're going to take that and then um, throw some uh, air support in here to help our guys out. Come on, get in there. What is this? I think these are artillery guns. Yeah. Okay, so we have the... Go. Go. Okay, we got some bomb or er, close air support. In oh Jesus Christ, our organization is bad. Go, oh go, it won't go. Our organization. God damn it! This is the problem of fighting in Vietnam. What is this? Sporting tungsten to the Union of South Africa. Oh, I would have thought they were Soviets. Or communists, but I guess not. Come on. We just gotta push him back. Oh, this organization is so bad. Supply status is 0%. Why is it so low? Oh, we also should upgrade our, uh... What? Okay. Oh, our guys are just constantly out of, uh, organization here. Come on, go. Here, what if I... Here, what if I split it up? Move some of our guys back. We'll do a fallback line here. So we split it in half. We have reserves just in case they push us back. Maybe now these guys can gain some organization. If we can do that, then maybe we can keep pushing into southern Vietnam. Now if I can take it. That would be lovely. As long as France doesn't bring any divisions in here. Come on. I need you to attack. Our organization is literally like zero. We have no organization. Alright, tell you what. Let's... Let's just move our guys over South Vietnam to defend it. And we will go from there. Uh, I don't have like any military experience. Oh man, that's gonna take forever to get any too. Here, and we will add another guy, and he's gonna go sit in the fallback line back here and defend their other victory point. Sixty-five percent towards capitulation. They've lost nine thousand soldiers, nine thousand men just from that. Oh, I really need them to go. Do I have any boats yet? I'm curious. I don't have any boats yet. It's a bit of a 
bummer. We do have air superiority. I just wish we had some... See, these guys have organization. And these guys have no organization. These guys don't even have any organization. Bit of a bummer. Um, it makes no sense. Here, maybe. Since these guys still have some organization, I'm going to make him go as fast as he can and push in. I'm curious why there's no... See, like, he doesn't... These guys don't have any organization either. I think it's because they're over South Vietnam, maybe. Over this victory point here. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Oh, he's going! He's going! Let's push him in. Make him take it, because if he can take that, then we will win, hopefully. See, this unit still has... Oh, his organiza organization's drastically decreasing. Yeah, he immediately takes him out. He's at 18. He was at 30 for like five seconds ago. We need something to help increase their organization here. Get in there. Go. You're going too slow. Go faster. Oh, see, he's out of organization now. Oh, nope, there we go. Go. Now he's at zero. So we can take that. Nope, I need you to go here. I just don't understand. need more organization before I can go anywhere. If I can add some more units, some more like recon companies or something, I may be able to get some organization down here. This is half the fucking problem. Yeah, their organization is constantly pegged at zero. What if I... Oh, we got a sub now. Cool. We'll do convoy escort. Like that. What I'm going to do... Is... I'm going to actually put the rest of these guys in this division here. And then... These two are going to do a naval invasion right there into the, all those factories. That's what's going to happen. Okay. We're going to add some more military factories to northern Vietnam. And I can't remember which one will give us logistics company will give us uh, more supply, more organization. I think recon companies will do it as well. Yeah. And we're going to add definitely be adding some recon companies to our uh, divisions. We need we really seriously need some organization. Can you It's just I think it's just southern Vietnam is the problem. Oh shit, I don't have any, uh, no, we're going to change this. Yeah, I got to research transport ships first. 
Oops. Add some more guns. Like so. Add some more stuff. Uh, more military factories in northern Vietnam. Okay. Maybe we'll make our own faction. I'm thinking we might. We'll just do Southern Asian, the Southern Asian Coalition. That sounds like a good idea. Lao People's Democratic Republic. I wish I had an ally in this. Honestly, what's stopping me from joining the Warsaw Pact? Uh, basically, because I'm at war. So basically, I have to get rid of my civil war first. How's this naval invasion? No units assigned to the order. Trust me. Oh yeah, I can't, yep. Duh. You gotta finish the research first. You gotta finish transport ships. Oh, I'm using one submarine to control the oceans over here. Uh, I do armament. Effort of three. We have some more divisions finished. And we're going to put them down. We'll put you down there. Oh, it's so awful fighting down here. I literally have no organization here ever. We do have almost full strength on our, sold or our troops. We just don't have any organization. So maybe if I can get this guy down here and start capping a bunch of this uh, land then we can take it hopefully uh, they should they should be super close to capitulation yeah 81 percent so as soon as I cap probably the rest of this land here they will capitulate cool now we're gonna assign divisions oh and they're just going like they don't need to wait okay cool get there boys take it there you go we still have all this organization so we can keep going you need to go that way oh yeah we did it it's all ours now so now that we have the country back uh, I think so I'm gonna add another our field hospitals we should also start working on ships so if we ever manage to get to it we're gonna have some battleships I think and uh, well, let's do that we'll give us more yeah it was a day to being finished I'm curious if that does anything Oh, no. I just happen to be super close to finishing that. Another 1-2% in total manpower. So I have... Wow, almost a million manpower right now. Which is awesome. Uh, why can't I do war economy? More than 15%? No, I can't do that. Yeah, I think we're going to do our own faction. <laughs> I think that's how we're going to do it. We'll just do all this since we have nothing else to spend this on. We'll do... Do fighters. And industrial concerns. So we can really jack up our industry. Oh, my pop filter is falling. 
Ladies and gentlemen, communist Vietnam. Okay, where's our boats? Our single submarine. Send her back home. Send her back home. This is going to be, we need a commander. Our naval guy, and he, well, let's just leave our subs there. We don't actually do this. Like so. And we're not getting any because of what reason? Oh, we don't have any factories. So we'll do like this. Yeah. See, now that we're not at war, we're bringing in loads more uh, infantry equipment. So we can keep pumping out dudes. And, I, wow, look at that. The Civil War gave us five experience. I don't even think, yeah, we can't even put any logistics companies in here. Or recon companies. Just a bit of a bummer. What does it take? More factories than 50. National unity goes up, which is always nice. Okay, so we got to think of where we're going to attack. These guys have no divisions, so it might be a good idea to uh, take here. And we'll just take the Indonesian Republic and hope they don't join a faction of some kind. I bet that's what we can do. Yeah, because we can just naval invade. That's owned by the UK, I believe, but yeah, that's owned by the UK. So if we just naval invade here, and then we can naval invade or just hit this pro or state here... And push for down here to Balikpapan. Then we can take, start taking that stuff out. Do they have anything on this island? 138 rubber. So we can get a lot of rubber. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we can't do that. I don't really think we're ever going to get to carriers. Interdiction, because we have subs. We have, oops, wrong button, a whopping 13 divisions, 200 planes. Okay, so I'm going to station some planes on, in both of these air bases. Look at that. Uh, cat, why are there two? Okay, sure. So now we have two air fields with division or planes in each one uh, improved artillery sure we have any armor we don't even have any armor armor might be something to look into political commissars extra division recovery which is good uh, another division finished so we're just going to have them protect. What is ours? These guys still don't have any... Oh, yeah. We need to see what the organization is at. Or the infrastructure is here. Yeah, it's 10 up there. Oh, sweet. We have more uh, positions for things. I think this is going to be for military factories. Yes, an extra seven military factories is going to be lovely. I uh, can't do anything. Can't do anything. Okay, so I can't really spend it on anything else except for boosting popularity of other... or communism in other countries. So maybe... If we do Siam, or Thailand, as everyone else calls it. Yeah, let's boost uh, communism in Thailand. Maybe we can get them to join our faction. That would be nice. Uh, nothing else I can really... I could boost that, but we already have almost a million manpower. It's an incredibly tiny country, so... Uh, now we play the waiting game. What are we waiting for? Waiting for national focuses to finish. We can also train some mountaineer divisions as well. Maybe even some cavalry. I don't think they use much, so... Sure. Why not? Why not? Let's do some cavalry as well. 
And once this is done, we can create some factions. And we're just going to call it the... Um, what would that be? Pan-Asian Coalition, maybe? PAC. We'll call it PAC for short. Pan-Asian Coalition. Modernized Rocket Artillery. We get a bonus for that, sure. That sounds awesome. Yeah, the Pan-Asian Coalition. Sounds awesome. Let's do that. Okay, so we're also going to boost communism in Cambodia. Oh, that's a revolution. Let's do communism. So after we boost them to a pretty significant level, then we're going to consider sponsoring a revolution in said country, and hopefully the communists will win. If the communists can win, then we'll be in business and we'll ha we can have some friends. Because uh, lonely communist Vietnam down here doesn't have very many friends. So why can't we join any of these factions? China doesn't want to because we're not at war. Russia doesn't want to because we're not neighboring them. Yeah, we're like seven points away for joining their faction. But I don't know if I really want to join their faction. I still need more military experience before I can upgrade my infantry divisions. Okay, let's see what else we can research here. Maybe get something good. Uh, see, this will give me a whole bunch more population. And that's an easy way to cheat to victory. <laughs> oh, cool. We can... That focus is just about done. Uh, we're going to do naval... Naval effort. Alright, so... How do I create a faction here? Uh, do I have to actually invite someone? And then I can name it? Or... How does that work? Not sure. Well, I'm pretty sure it has to... Uh, we have to have somebody that's willing to join a faction. Reinforce rate is good. We're going to do that first. Okay. So, Communist Vietnam... Oh, that scared me. Communist Vietnam really is uh, getting up there. And they have a lot of planes. That could be a problem. Because I feel like Laos would be a good place to invade. We gotta get bigger first before we decide to take the whole of uh, this uh, peninsula here. I think. Actually, I totally spaced that we were gonna try and take this from uh, the Indonesian Republic. Alright, so let's do. I don't know, four divisions. And we will go. We don't have a naval base down there, which is a problem. But we can work something out there. That way. Four out of 28 days. Okay, so we also need... We need our navy to patrol the waters in the South China Sea. And what we're going to do is we're going to declare war on them. Cool, we got another... Build another sub. Or put another factory towards submarines. Got our first mountaineer division. We might need that guy. Okay, so now I'm going to start justifying against Indonesia. Because they don't have any divisions whatsoever. It's going to take almost a year to get it, though. Get the war goal finished. So we're going to leave these guys to defend the homeland in case someone decides to invade. 200 days to do atomic research. Let's do that. Bombs are cool. Bombs are really cool, if you haven't noticed. And then I think we're just... Yeah, we're doing this guy, too. Yep, we're declaring war. We're pissing off the Indonesian Republic. This would be pretty valuable if we could take this. They have some military factories now. And some civilian factories. They also have a lot of resources we can use. So, if we get a hold of that, then 
It'll make Vietnam all that much better. It'll look better in the eyes of Russia. They will want to be friends with us because we'll have all the rubber in the world and they won't be able to trade with the Indonesian Republic anymore. Let's look at our supply lines here. Anyone buying anything from us? Not quite. Wow, we have quite a few guys. Oh yeah, I just jumped up a little bit more. Let's see. What else we can research here? Army experience, that's good, we need that. Because at the moment, we are not currently in combat. Being able to upgrade our divisions while out of combat is definitely needed. So the Netherlands is, yeah, they're all in NATO. So I can't really mess with them. Basically, everyone that seems to be a good guy, I can't mess with. India is an, a good guy. They do have a few divisions. So I think... If I were to take go after India, I would have to go through maybe taking the Indonesian Republic, doing something with Thailand and uh, Cambodia and Laos. Maybe something with Burma and Pakistan, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not Pakistan. We definitely want to take India, though. India would uh, really boost, our, boost us up. I really 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 need army experience I need 10 before I can add a uh, I need 10 before I can add any of these I need to increase organization oh those are all reducing organization whoops uh, I think re regardless if that's gonna help us Recon companies would be good. <clears throat> when is this war going to start here? February 1954. February 7th. So next year. It's getting there. we got about six months. <laughs> <coughs> mm, sorry about that. I have a uh, bit of a cold... Light tank, modern light tank, model two. Can't do anything with that. We're still bringing in loads of political power. So we're gonna boost these guys now. We don't have anything better to do with it, so. Submarine and destroyer effort. How close are we? We're getting there. Cambodia, yeah, they were the other one. Okay, so 32% communist. It is currently the most popular uh, political party in Laos. So if we could get them to become communists and leave or abandon their puppetry, then uh. Oh, the organiza organization down there is awful. See, like right here. And up, it is so much better. Oh, what are you guys doing? You need to be working on southern Vietnam infrastructure. I think that was the problem when fighting down there is we just didn't have the infrastructure to support, uh, support combat and all the supplies. We would be rushing down there. How close are we? Very close. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. All right. Oh, we get to choose. I think artillery, actually. Because it'll give us better... So we can do maybe... Oh, those are ten. Okay. Okay. So maybe we can do like two artillery. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. I think we had stockpiled some guns anyway. Yeah, we had to start a surplus of guns because we were just not using them. This is definitely a good one. We'll do nuclear effort. 
50% research bonus towards nuclear technologies. Oh, I bashed my pop filter again. Uh, we two months, and we can declare war on these assholes, I believe. Oh, never mind. That's n or no, yeah, no, that is in two months. I was like, what? But I'm a dumbass. Uh, I can't do nuclear bombs yet. We're gonna boost our research times though, but power through and become more technologically advanced than our neighbors. How close are we? 31%. I feel like that's gone down. Oh, we're just not boosting anymore. Why are we not boosting? We're still boosting here. Still boosting there. We just need more divisions. So these guys are just ready. We are already, our divisions are more advanced than theirs. All we've done is put artillery guns in our divisions. We are currently more advanced. Oh yeah, it's coming. Seven days. Yep, seven days. And we can do it. Alrighty. Start researching those tanks. Okay, we're going in. Let's put some more divisions on garrison. Nuclear efforts done. We can get in here. And, uh, capture all those ports. Get to the port. Um, yeah, they don't have any divisions. Sure, send us a division. We're gonna take the Indonesian Republic for ourselves. Oh, we sorely need these, uh... Um, naval yards here. We need these ports desperately. How's the, uh... Infrastructure in here? Oh, I can't see it. Once we get a port, we can actually secure this area down here in, uh, I don't actually know what island this is called. We got a port. Cool. Maybe what we can do. Come on. Oh, that's China. Oops. So we're going to take all of our, all of these divisions here, move them into the port. And we're going to take it there, take our guys there. Recovery rate. Oh shit, yeah. Seems a bit OP. We've taken the entire country. We've garrisoned the entire country. Or the entire island here. Oh, that's a naval base as well. And now we have access to a whole bunch of, uh, so we're going to do four divisions. We're going to get a new commander, this guy, 
he is going to go from this port to that port. And then we're going to take our subs and get them to get all of this here. There we go. So now we should be able to invade all of these places that we need to do. Now basically it should be just uh it should be like pretty easy. To just invade all of these islands cuz they don't have any divisions. China's helping, but they're not actually doing anything. Which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. So yeah, we just gotta take this, all these little islands here. Which are the important ones? These, these here. So now we, then we gotta go after this guy here. Well, actually, oh, we've already landed, look at that. Just to do that and go, and we'll just go like this and go. Then we're gonna take these guys, do another naval landing, and we are gonna land. Okay, constitutional block in Lebanon. Right click to select the invasion. Sufficient intel. Where, oh wow, right there. Really? Okay, well maybe we won't go there. How about we do it like this? Oh, is that still there? I hope that's not, but I think it is. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. No, it's fine. We'll just... Where the hell are you guys... You guys need to get there. Go. Okay, a bunch of these other... Okay, they should be going now. So we need to make sure these guys are on aggressive. And we're going to send them off to this island first. <coughs> ah! Cool. As Vietnam, we are taking a lot of stuff for ourselves. These guys didn't have any divisions whatsoever. Get rid of this. Equipment effort. Cool. We're taking it from them. Have, they still don't have any divisions or planes or anything. We need better jet fighters. Oh, they're just going to get wrecked. That's all that's going to happen.
Korean War has started. Go. Make sure you guys are aggressive. Oh, we just got a whole bunch of extra stuff for free. All right. Oh, we got another four dockyards. That is going to come in handy. Have all these little islands now. And they have been taken. I'm going to should I puppet them? I'm gonna take it all. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have conquered Indonesia as Vietnam. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.